Okay, so this video is on 6.3 or on special factoring. So let's look at the first type of special factoring. These ones are called um, difference of squares. So why are they called the difference of squares? Well, difference means subtraction. So it's and you have two squares. So it's something like x squared minus 16. And it has to be a minus sign um, or it won't work. And I'll show you an example of that in just a second. But it's the difference of two squares. And it confuses people because it's not a trinomial like we've been factoring. It only has two terms. It's a binomial. But we don't have a GCF in common, so we can't take anything out. So it's a little weird. So the way that we want to think about this is it's like the middle term went to zero. So what multiplies to negative 16 that would make a zero in the middle? Well, it would have to be the same number with one of them being negative, one being positive. So it would have to be four times negative four because those add to zero and they multiply to negative 16. So let's put that thought together. So we'd have x minus four x plus 4. This is our guess. If we multiply it out to check it, let's see what we get. x times x is x squared. x times 4 is 4x. Negative 4 times x is negative 4x. And negative 4 times positive 4 is negative 16. The middle combined to 0, so you only have x squared minus 16. If this would have been positive positive, to try to get a positive in the middle, we would have had an 8x in the middle. So it just doesn't work unless there's a minus. Okay, that's the only way you can get opposite signs for the middle to be zero. So using that idea, what if I have four x squared minus 49? There's still both difference of squares, but we've now thrown a, a square in front of the square, <laughs> the x squared, square in front of the square. So what are gonna be my parentheses? Well, we know they're gonna have to be the same just like on here, the same parenthesis with opposite signs so that they combine to make the zero in the middle. So the first one, let's think of it as 2x and 2x because we know 2x squared is 4x squared. And then with 49, we know it's going to be 7 times 7, opposite signs. Okay, and we can multiply that out and show that it works. Um, and, it, and it does. So if we see something like this, x squared plus 25, they're kind of trying to trick you. You cannot do this one, and it is prime. Okay, there's no way to get the zero in the middle. All right. Um, next type um, is, is only special in the way... Let's just do 2x plus 1. It's only special in the way you write your answer, really. I, so they like this one to be considered one of the special cases. It's not a difference of squares, but it's a little bit different. So we know 1 times 1 would give us the 2. So if we think about the method that we've been looking at, 1 times 1 gives us 2. When we add it, and when we times it, it gives us positive 1. So we know we can break this up into x plus 1, x plus 1. Now what do you notice about those two solutions? Yeah, those two solutions are equal. They're the same thing. So I can write this as a square, okay, because they're equal. And so we can write our answer as a square. So you might see the answer as either case. And when you're doing homework for me, this is fine. But if you're doing your homework in my math lab, you uh, and my math lab, I think, will take either one too, actually. But sometimes if it's multiple choice, you might have to be able to um, understand those are the same. Okay, so those are kind of our difference, different cases, just those two. And then we have cubes. For some of you, um, you won't have to continue with the cubes, but for most of you, you will. So there's actually a formula for cubes. So cubes means to the third power. We just did squares, and we could easily break up the squares into identical parentheses with opposite uh, symbols. Cubes is not that easy. It looks so pretty at the beginning, but it actually equals a little parenthesis and a big one. And in the little one, you're going to have x minus y. That is basically the third root of both of these terms. 
okay and then you're going to take the first term and square it and you're going to add them being multiplied together and then add the second term being squared same idea with a second power or a plus excuse me you can do a plus on a third because it works basically um, do I don't really have another reason third power can be negative or positive so of course different things work for third power versus second power so this one would be the exact same except your negative sign will be here instead of here so you have one negative sign one here one here these are basically our formula so when we see the problems it's gonna be something like I'll start with something easy x to the third minus eight so what I tell people is look at the first term what is the cubed root of x to the third well it's going to be x so on our formula x would just be x which is common and what would y equal for our formula what's the third root of eight well two times two times two is eight or two to the third is eight so two is our third root or our y then all I do is put them into the formula okay I know this is the formula it started with a minus so I need a minus plus plus and this is just X and Y I so I ignore the sign I know that it's got to be X and the Y was 2 here you're gonna square the first one so X squared the middle one you times them 2 times X is 2x and the last one is 2 squared or 4 so all I did is put it into the formula let's do a harder one what if I had p to the third um, plus 125q to the third so I threw in a bigger number and I threw in um, a 125 well let's look at what x and y would equal the x is the the third root of p to the third which would be p and the third root of 125 is 5 because 5 times 5 times 5 is 125 and you could do third roots on your calculator if some of them get too big because they get big really fast um, you could I always have to like get this to be where the shadow is not on it okay so on this calculator oops uh, be if I do it above that yeah they're perfect on this calculator it has a key here that says X square root so what you do is you hit 3 and then that button so you're saying third root of 125 and you get 5 so if it's bigger you could use your calculator to do the third root okay so then we do our parentheses it starts with a plus so my formula says plus minus plus and it says square um, or the third root of the first one which is P and it says the third root of the second which is 5 and then it says square the first one which is p squared and then it says times them together 5 times p is 5p and the last one 5 squared is 25 all right and it doesn't matter what numbers they put they could try to trick you with making you do a GCF first basically um, they try to make it look like it won't have a third root but you can take out a number um, and it will work so let me think of one like that maybe I'll do one more what if I had I don't know 2x to the third and I minus it from 54 okay so when I look at this problem it doesn't look like it's gonna be factorable well we were like 2 is not a third you can't take a third root of 2 and get a pretty number 54 either but look they both have the 2 in common so you can take the 2 out leaving x to the third minus 27 so I took the GCF out and now look at it so my cord keeps getting caught it's driving me nuts so then I ignore the two and I look at just this what is the third root of 27 it's gonna be three so when I do my two parentheses I have little big I know it should go minus plus plus and this one will be X and this one will be three because three times three times three is 27 this one will be this one squared right so this is X squared this one is them times each other so 3 times X we don't we don't look at the symbol that's just part of the formula so 3x and then 3 squared is 9 
So we just have the two in front. So be careful um, of what it's looking for. If you can take a GCF out, you have to do that first and then check for the third root or second root or whatever that it might give you. Okay, so that's kind of the idea of the special cases.